Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thank you for joining me here today. It has been too long since I've been doing any updates, so sorry I haven't been doing anything, but we're going to get back on track with the channel now. Uh, today I just want to talk about the House Rules event. Um, they added a new one in for us here, so the House Rules. It's kind of a weird setup. You start off first and 20 and you have three plays to get a first down and then you get 15 points for a defensive touchdown yeah and the reward for this is a nat team mvp fantasy pack which again they've been having some trouble communicating with us exactly what the prizes are on the early stream so people are getting confused um but of course, they're going to do Nat again. Of course, they're not going to give us full choices of everything. It's just going to be a fantasy pack, so you don't know what you're going to get. So the other thing, too, is that this is a squad duos event offline. Now, I got to say, last week's was an online. So you had to win six in a row, head-to-head -head duo. And that was actually my favorite house rule so far. I think that one was actually the best for me anyway. I got the rewards the fastest. I went 6-0 and through it the first time. Uh, with two different partners going 3-0, and so I got my rewards the fastest, and also, it just kind of cool to just work with another person. I play Madden, you know, head-to-head, 1v1, all year. I think I've probably played, like, three total squad games, maybe zero squad duos games, so to get into this mode and enjoy it, I liked it. It was pretty cool. What, uh, what basically the first I ended up playing defense with my second my first opponent was pretty good but the second opponent really uh really me and him really clicked I was playing defense he was playing offense and mostly let's take a look actually at my first set of games here my first uh, three opponent I was on QB I throw the ball up he gets knocked down here but this glitch has apparently just been fixed today but he gets back up and runs into the end zone this was huge for us to stay into that game I think we probably get the extra points uh with my next partner there though he was running this dive, and look at Barkley just breaking these tackles, getting free, moving upfield, getting the extra yardage there after those break tackles. And he was just doing a great job running this dive play, looking for where the holes in the blocking were, getting outside, and then so many touchdowns. It was so easy. Like, honestly, on offense, half the time, I wasn't even doing I would just put my controller down, go be on the wide receiver, let him run the dive to the other side, enjoy our touchdowns go back and play some great defense with this guy. So that's that's all we were doing. He was, I, mean, I mean, I've been trying to incorporate this run game as much as I can into my own head-to-head -head game for weekend league, and it was really helpful. Using it, I, I, I just walked into 8-2 and two so easy using this defense, using this uh, this run game. So I learned a lot from my partner doing that. That's why I really liked it. Working, you know, you play with someone new, you learn some new things. And I, I feel like you kind of saw uh, me do some different things too on defense, but... So after I went 6-0, and I went through, because it was my second partner, he was only at 3-0 and at that point. So I was like, hey, man, you help me get to it, I'm going to stick with it to you. So we go 5-0. and We get to 6-0. and Look at this game. We're up 10-6 here. Hands off the ball. Look at me. Finds this hole. Gets outside. We get around the blocking. Looking good. Looking like he's gone pretty close to the end zone. He tries to break free, and he gets strip fumbled. This was the sixth game. This was in the last minute. We had the first down. We had this game locked down, at least going up seven there. And he fumbles. You got to think you got to go down. I think they had no, they had one timeout left as well. So that game was over. We could have run out the clock at that point if we wanted to. He fumbles the ball. So then they got to march down the field. They're able to put down a decent drive. Here they are from the 35. I feel pretty good. I've been shutting him down, mostly deep blues. He puts it up to the left side. Gets a click on with Randy Moss. We get Ag Cat into the end zone. And no, we don't end up winning that. So that was heartbreaking. <laughs> I felt so bad that I couldn't do it with this guy. I'm definitely going to go through again uh, with him in this one if he needs me because I still feel so bad that he couldn't get it. After we lost, I was like, dude, I will go through again with you. I feel so bad about this. And he's like, he thought about it, but... In the end, decided that wasn't the way to go. Decided not to. So, unfortunately, he did not get the rewards. It was just me. And then this is my polls right here. We see the... Uh, who do we got here again? We've got the Alex Mack, David Bakhtiari, and Jonathan Ogden. And honestly, just because I have three Phillies players 
and you know a couple of them are we have the center and maybe with Max like I don't really need to replace uh, Kelsey and then I have Peters on left tackle who's like pretty decent for me too so I don't feel like I had the holes there at left tackle so I just thought you know what I think the best bet for me is to just pick the best player that I can so that's why I decided to grab Ogden and just because he didn't fit into my team I decided you know what I should probably just quick sell him for coins so I ended up quick selling him from coins use the or not for coins for training points use those training points to upgrade my Megatron so now I got a 99 Megatron he's my new third wide receiver bumping Jerry Rice down but feeling like it's a pretty strong team so I don't know I liked that pull I liked that week I gotta say the squad duos was my favorite way surprisingly because when I first saw it I was like squad duos I'm not gonna do this one and then I do it and it ends up being my favorite and the easiest one for me so this squad do is you do have to win 10 games, um, so that will be a lot easier to do if you meet someone either on Reddit or just from playing a game, someone you seem to hook up with, stick with them. You should be able to walk through against the computers pretty easily. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, um, but hopefully, like, that's what it always seems like. If you get some sort of weird disconnect or something, that could ruin it could ruin your streak, so that's really the only thing that's going to be holding you back. So I'm wishing you guys all good luck in getting this week's house rules done, and you hopefully you can get that uh, Nat fantasy pack to get those cards that you're looking for. They had a Kelsey on there. I was kind of hoping for a Kelsey, but it looks like not. So let me know how you guys are feeling about the squad duos, the house rules, if you're excited to have some Time Bob tips back in your life. And thank you a lot, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Give it a like. I will catch you guys later. Take it easy.